a disclaimer first. This is about my likes and dislikes about the game right now. In no way, shape, or form, I am shitting on the game. It is only my opinion. It is what I think as of this date. So no one can correct or debunk me because there is no right or wrong situation. It is basically a video diary of my thoughts on this game. So to get things out of the way first, I am not dead. I'm... We all thought you really were, bro, cause you ain't you ain't uploaded in a while. You know how YouTube be working. Something had to, we couldn't wait for the report. Like, oh, we'll we'll be missed. He's a legend, type stuff. But hey, it didn't happen. Thank God. There was probably a reason why I didn't upload for a week, and that is because I did not enjoy making Dragon Ball Legends videos. Don't take this video seriously, by the way. I am not quitting Dragon Ball Legends, nor am I quitting YouTube. Everything is the same, I just needed a small break. And during that small break, I've begun to slowly recover from burnout, reignite my passions, all that jazz, and I've slowly realized I've been avoiding a certain problem. And that is... Yes, it is about time I talk about this game, considering it is basically the content on my channel. I've been slowly not loving this game, but I felt like it was something I needed to overcome, or it was just my burnout speaking. But eventually, each time I edit a video, the more I don't have passion for it, the more I felt like it was pointless for me to continue making content for this game. So I might as well give an update on how I feel about this, and my perspective on being a YouTuber making Dragon Ball Legends content. I can agree. The burnout for playing Dragon Ball Legends, it depends upon what you do. It depends upon what your goal is at the same time. Because if your goal is something like how mine's is to be the best at the game, it's kind of a, it's kind of a go. It's it's the most Goku thing you will ever hear from a player to be the best at the game. You won't. To explain it, there's too many good players out there. You get outplayed pretty easily. You can use a joke team. A, an all-around good player can use any team, not just a certain team. That's not how any of this works. But you having a burnout is understandable. No one hates you for it. If they do, well, that's bad. Shame on them because that's not okay. This is why I don't play PvP as much because I know I get burnt out pretty quick by playing it because do I really want to sit and try to struggle video after video after video trying to do something that I kind of don't have passion for doing. I have passion for PvP every now and then but then I lose it pretty much instantly and I always go back down to a low rank. Never making it to 50 because I can't just get it straight long enough for me to at least hit 50 and then and then sit down and then say I finally did it so let's start with my biggest problem again I want to say it is my problem this is what I think is a problem for me <laughs> okay yeah so other people might think different but I am only saying this is what I think is a problem so there is just no room for creativity it really sounds like I am complaining and it truly is, but <laughs> pretend it is some dramatic apology video. So I just don't feel like there is any more variety in this game to create creative content, you know? I mean, cursed images videos are good, of course, but other content just seems so generic to me. Last year me would be so ashamed of present me right now. My videos recently just haven't been doing too well in terms of actual YouTube stats and views, but also my passion and love put into them. I just have this big thought in the back of my head every time I try to do a creative video. Why bother scripting, editing, setting up equipment for this video when you can just do the obligatory weekly Zenkai PvP showcase that will eventually get more views, more watch time, and ultimately more... I can agree. It, there is a certain trend going around for Dragon Ball Legends that if you do not hop on, half the time people won't even know you're even playing Dragon Ball Legends. This is why I don't really do too many showcase. I just play for the fun of it, and I just have my fun with it, and I will dip on certain parts. I will play the event and dip on other parts, because I just don't care. But at the same time, you run into the exact same thing. 
multiple times over. You're you're not because you're not doing the complete norm. Because Dragon Ball Legends and a few other games have this, and this is one of their small problems. And I think this is goes from even a certain game, S A O M D. You had a certain flavor to it. Once your flavor is no longer digestible, let's say YRG, for example, YRG is a breath of fresh air when it comes to Dragon Ball Legends. He is not only just a Dragon Ball Legends content creator that actually makes the game just a little more fun because of funny little jokes in here. It's not just a straight serious play. It's not just, you know, a simple talking about a character. It's a human character playing the game for the fun of it. I've had a really good time enjoying his videos. I've had a, a good break away from his videos also. So I haven't watched his content from him doing Oob, um, LF Frieza, stuff like that. I did, wasn't there watching. I was too busy trying to obtain the characters. Well, not really Frieza. Still not going for Frieza. But, yeah. I understand. Money. Again, I want to say this is a problem for me. Some people out there would be super happy to get money just slapping on three PvP matches into a 10 minute plus video and getting money off that, you know? I'm not saying. I would enjoy that, but there's only one problem. I would get bored very easily from doing this multiple times over. To do the one once every week, once every two weeks, once every new update. Grab a new character, make a team surrounding that character, take it into PvP, win, lose, or draw, it doesn't really matter. Just have good PvP matches, at least enough where people could watch your content and come back for other ones. Listen to the comment section. Well, I'm sorry, read the comment section. Yeah. Love. Love being a YouTuber. That isn't a good thing. I'm just saying this isn't what I worked so hard and gained so much subs for. I feel like I'm scamming you guys. I feel like you shouldn't be invested or dedicated to me if I made a good video the other day, so you should be watching this other lazy video this day. Even if both are interesting and Dragon Ball Legends related. It just doesn't seem right to me. So what I decided to do is prioritize Cursed Images videos a lot more and not strict myself to Dragon Ball Legends content. Broaden my horizons a bit. Oh. Of course. Honestly, half of the reason I don't like this game. I mean, playing it casually, Zenkai's are pretty good, but as a content creator, it's just so boring for me. And it seems boring to you guys as well who watch Dragon Ball Legends on YouTube. I do not mind extremely old units getting Zenkai's because they truly feel like a new unit after all those years of them being old. But I feel like the level of frequency of releasing Zenkai's are a bit too much for me. For example, the recent Gohan and Aleph Goten Zenkai. I honestly don't care how broken or good they are. I just don't care if these recycled units are bumped up to the top 10 units of the meta. This same process is going to happen again to the next Zenkai next week. So does this actually matter? Zenkai's felt like a cool accessory to begin with, but now they are basically the stars of the game now. Which really makes you think about what the new releasing non-Zenkai units are up to. Hold on, hold on, if you don't mind, let me talk about Zenkai's. There are so many problems with Zenkai's that I can't even... <sighs> I like Zenkai's. But for certain, what's the names? I like the idea of boosting up old characters and making them relevant to today's standard. That is fine. I've always stated this, that that was always good. The problem is when you continue to give us Zenkai's of characters who don't necessarily need it. It's stupid to give us Zenkai's to characters that we kind of don't care for or you know don't really affect the gameplay like it should that affects it more in a negative than positive light the continuation of getting zenkai's pretty much every two to three weeks is completely stupid is the stupidest thing i've ever can say because for a lot of reasons it can come up for one reason you could say well you zenkai this one person well then what am i supposed to do with this one person put them on sun family yes it really helps really helps <sighs> I have so many problems with LF, I'm sorry, not LFs, but Zenkai's that it's not even funny. Do I like using Zenkai's? No. How many Zenkai's do I even use? There's probably one of them that I mainly use a lot, 
And it's only because he's actually worth the time for having the Zenkai. You want to know who it is? Super Saiyan Blue Goku. That character needs the Zenkai. Not necessarily. He was still a good tank. But I guess he's more tankier. Yay. But then you have like LF Goten. I did not Zenkai and I am not going to Zenkai. Why? Because I just don't care to. Gohan, I said I said it already and I'll say it again. I'll do it if it's a challenge. Not because I'm aiming to do it, because it happened. That'd be the only way. I think he's level 1 Zenkai right now. I don't know if my Piccolo is Zenkai at all, but I do know is Gohan is level 1 Zenkai. Um, he's about to talk about monthly LFs. Oh my goodness. I can agree because... Here's the problem with getting. Here's the problem with Dragon Ball Legends. I've said this before. It's just timing. They this game could be much better if the timing was so much better with releasing characters and releasing new things. One of the most major problems that I will always have is the timing. Not just releasing of certain characters, but of just stuff like this. How about this may help Legends at least give us a month to relax give us new events throughout the month it doesn't have to be necessary new characters i know a lot of people say they're get the character and they're ready for the next one immediately that's fine that's cool that's dope but i mean we do the same thing with movies and shows but we have to still have to wait months and months and months on that you're a gotcha game one thing that you should always do is maybe just maybe relax for a second just chill give us new events give us some really cool fun events every now and then give us some joke events give us some events that make content not me always having to go to pvp because the only thing new is new characters or updating old characters and the characters you update you don't have to update certain ones lf goten never was my favorite by any stretch of imagination i never really cared for this character even when i got him i didn't even know he was an lf when he when i got the character so yeah i have my share of problems but oh my gosh let's see what he has to say about monthly lfs because mm -hmm. bit of a tragedy to be honest i like lfs don't get me wrong but the fact they decided to release at least one lf at least every month is quite a weird high standard they put themselves on not only that they basically tell you the value of a monthly lf now and the new exchange shop it's not noticeable now but in the future they could get burnt out and not find good creative ways to make an lf's kit really good or have an Aleph animation to reference. I feel like they'll get really desperate because they just want to reach that one Aleph each month threshold. It will truly get mid. Slowly the developers will get lazy on them and what felt special for a Legends Limited unit will be gone. Okay, well, let me talk. Oh, Tournament of Power. Uh, there's a lot to say about that mode. I actually think it's kind of... Yeah, just quickly do it and walk off. That's how I feel about that. But um, for what you just stated, I would prefer this, and I think this would be one of the best options for Dragon Ball Legends. Three months. Every three months, give us an LF if they want. Because why three months? Because at least three months, you give us time to not only adjust to that current LF, we at least every player that plays the game should at least have at least some type of grasp of what he could be. What he or she could be. That I think will be really fun. And then on top of that, if you... Every month, I knew it wasn't tripping. Because I knew if originally it was every three months. Then it slowly became pretty much every month. The last... My favorite LF by far, when it comes to skill-wise... When it comes to skill play-wise, it will always... And always be this character because he screams so much that if you are able to use this LF in the best standard, he's not that much of a bad LF. And that's Kid Boo. I've recently been trying to use him and I actually enjoy using him. I didn't care for the Frieza because I had a feeling that this Frieza was just more of a, hmm, 
let's boost the team up a bit, and that's pretty much it. I had a feeling, and I did not care for this reason. I summoned one time to get the 500 out of the way. I didn't summon for the 1,000. I'm still not summoning for the 1,000 at all for this. And it's funny. I have two accounts, and even though I could just slap some my Wi-Fi on my phone and just quickly try, I probably won't do it. I probably just won't. It's stupid how these LFs pop up out of nowhere and everyone's so excited for them. I'm sorry, do not get me wrong, do not get me wrong. I get it that the LFs now kind of feel like, how do I put this in the best way to put this? They feel like, how do I put this without upsetting someone? Ah, uh, stupid, there you go. It's just stupid. They walk stupid. They talk stupid. The entire animation sometimes is just stupid because we're tired of seeing LF such and such character. We just got a Legends All-Star. Can we get another basic unit at least to fill up some other teams? They, giving us more LFs that break the game for a tad bit then go right back to being absolutely nothing doesn't mean anything to me. I would prefer the game have a long lifespan of, I don't know, what am I possibly thinking about? I would want a character to have a, a lifespan before getting slapped the next month. You see, I knew something was fishy, but I couldn't get my finger on it because I felt like maybe I was just being stupid. And I was like, nope, I don't know what I'm talking about. And this is exactly what I meant. When LF Kid Boo came out, it was shocking to me, and it came out of nowhere. It felt like we just got an LF, but we already getting another one. I summoned for him, and I got him pretty easily. <sighs> the problem is this, Legends. If you're going to make an LF, and you have this already ready, I would say this. Do not release them the next freaking month. This game is not i get it, i get it i get it i always say it's easy to get a thousand in a month because we should have enough updates to the game to at least give us a thousand chrono crystals so that means if you don't want the current lf or you already have the current lf you have you can go summon for the next lf that is fine that is king that is dope the only big 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 problem is this if you Legends, Dragon Ball, freaking Legends, really want to make the game really fun? Go back to the three month rule you did. Three months. Give us another LF. Give me three months to at least let this LF breathe. Let this LF be dominating for at least a good three months before it's killed off. Because the problem that I'm starting to have. And I, and I, at first it was, it was being funny, but no, I'm dead so serious. You cannot make an LF unit that you know it's hype and then make a character that immediately slaps that LF and then a character slap that LF. I'm sorry. No, even if you say, well, the stats don't really compare. No, 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 no. He is a very good, Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 is a very good LFGT unit. Very, very good. And I apologize for what I said about LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because I really want the character. Why? Because I want him for my for my <sighs> GT team. I really do. I think he'll be really great if I can't get Oob. Because I'm not gonna do a multi on Oob. I'm not. I'm only doing a single. And if I don't collect him off the single or the tickets, I'm just not gonna care. But the character is a pretty basic, at best, LF unit. He is a probably a little subpar. He is he is in the branch of how do I put this? Put it like this. You know how LF Goten when he came out wasn't really too big of a deal. He was something, but not too big of a deal. Even in today's standards, he's still not that big of a deal. He makes Beerus still good. Yeah. Yeah. That's my thing with this. That That's my thing. If you're going to make random LFs, it just give it to them. Give us those LFs every month. 
at least make them semi, I don't know, not do that. How about three months so we can actually enjoy the LFs instead of already have to get ready? Because I don't know if you noticed this, but we don't have money on us like that. Some of us don't have the credit cards. Some of us do go to work. Yeah. Do you think we really want to spend almost 60 to almost a thousand dollars just to summon and get one god during character so i'm working hours on hours just to get one character rhyme style i don't like what you said but i will say this i feel like you understand but don't at the same time and apologies if i'm wrong but uh... This game could be really fun if you just give the characters time to breathe. And if you say a month is enough time, you are dead set wrong. If I just summon towards the end of the month and I finally get the LF and all of a sudden, here's the next LF. I'm sorry, the next LF, it hasn't, it's been three months already. Have I really been sitting here for three months? Time passing me by. No wonder my wife's mad at me. Cause I've been on my phone for three months. Oh, it's only been oh, it's only been a few days. Ah, the month is over. We're going to a different month. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need them to kind of chill out and just go to some basic units every month. I would prefer you to give me some regular units every month than an LF every month. Why? For one big reason. Legends Limited. What is that? What 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 is those? Say it again, Legends Limited. It's limited, meaning not just the banners limited, but <clears throat> you'll never guess. The, the rarity is limited. I would prefer the rarity be limited. Don't make Ultra better than LF. No, make them kind of sort of battle against each other. Let one day LF be completely past the Ultra and Lit Ultra, whenever the next Ultra unit comes out, let it be better than the LFs. I don't care. I'm just simply stating this. Let the characters breathe before they die. This, this Frieza, Frieza, dead. How? I don't even know. I don't see him in PvP anywhere. I haven't seen him in so long. It's insane. I'm watching other people play and I'm barely seeing any Frieza's. From when he first came out to even now, I'm like, okay, there's a Frieza up there anymore. There go the minions with Frieza. Oh, wait, they're just giving the buff. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's smart, Legends. That's, that's, that's genius. Ah, oh, I understand the burnout. I completely understand, especially now really thinking about it. And I'm playing free and getting barely any views on my videos. And I'm getting burnt out. That's in, that's stupid. I mean, well, not really, because I'm, I'm not doing more work. I'm just lazily, just let's be real, just recording and then just accepting whatever happens. If a mistake happens, if I can, if I know I can change it, I'll do it. If I can't, I can't. That's pretty much it for me. I enjoy it, but it's just stupid legends. Ah. Uh, Let's talk about Tournament of Power, I guess. Bro, what the f*** is this? Get this out of the game, man! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's not boring, but it's boring. It is literally one of the weirdest modes that you can ever have. I like Tournament of Power as a mindless game to just quickly run down and strategize of heal swap characters and heal again take the easy route and then get a free 2000 i'm sorry 200 chrono crystals from they said they're supposed to be adding player versus player in this i don't know how they're gonna do this but however they do this you should have started with with the world martial arts tournament first because i think that would have been a nice little piggyback thing but no but no Oh my goodness, Legends, you have to calm down. Guilds, oh, I forgot I'm even in a guild, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was looking at the guild the other day, and my teammate, I'm pretty much the only active player. 
and I'm and I became leader because the original leader became unactive because of I don't know his phone messed up I think I think his phone messed up I became leader and what's funny is I'm like the only active player on my entire guild and it just makes me laugh because they didn't they do like a 50 like 50 million or 50 thousand users active I'm like well I guess my guild wasn't part of that 50 million 50 thousand oh this is so dead I wish they revamped this well I mean commit to revamping it and made some good exclusive rewards when being invested to this system or have a separate guild battle pvp or something man or some cool would you just say it just saved it by itself how did you just not really thinking about it just just off the top of the noggin boop just something to kind of say real quick fix it a guild battle a proper guild battle not not this whatever we have at the moment because don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's boring but it's completely dog water that needs more because you know how many times I've carelessly just played around and then come to it and say we're losing. Like, how are we losing? I played so many PvP match. Oh, oh, the, the oh, the, it wants me to do the space time. It wants me and every member to do the space time rush. Well, I'm the only one who did the space time rush. So, I played another three times. I'm sorry. What do I do? Nothing there's nothing I can do except use my other account to maybe help me out here Yeah, we don't have Wi-Fi for that. So that's a big no-no Plus my phone is kind of messed up at the moment. So it can't even function properly to do that <sighs> This game needs so much help. It's not funny. I think one thing he just mentioned would be fun I will take I will say this have you ever looked at Mobile Legends Adventure? Look at guild battles there. The guild battles may take time to happen, but I think that would be a kind of good start for it. Would be your guild versus someone else's guild. You get to challenge somebody else to a PvP match. You know, a real-time PvP match, but at the same time, I think it could it could have a lot more work to it. We could work out the kinks kind of later down the line, but right now I'm just simply stating this. Just stating. Uh, special. Okay, now let's talk about the exchange shop when it comes to guild. If you want to have something cool in there, that's dope. But I suggest special things in the in the guild shop to show off. Not just a special little equip. Oh, I'm sorry, not equip. What what are they called? Uh, the Z powers. Oh my goodness, only 50 Z power. And then I have to get so much. Oh my gosh, this game is just not helping itself sometimes. Why do the good games that can last longer, that can have what you have, die? But you, with all the riches and all this stuff fail at certain things that the other games didn't how explain uh, this game needs serious help and it's things that I kind of always look past and just look like there should be more for this and just never really elaborated on thank you ROG for giving me something to talk about today I'm probably never going to drop this for the rest of the day Ex what would be nice, you know, be nice exclusive characters, you know, being able to, you know how you, you use the little SP coins for that? How about we take that and we put it in the what's the name? We take those characters, we just put a long list of them for people to get old characters after a certain amount of time they're in there where you can buy the characters. You want to know why that will be nice? Because you can get old characters that you probably... I know you will say, well, they're out of date now. Are you sure they're out of date? Are you sure? Because, just saying, Clap Goku is still, well, Clapku is still, how do I say, a force to be reckoned with. Accessory from guilds to flex on PvP? But I don't know. Oh, oh no. Shit, man. Alright, other YouTubers beat this topic to death already, so I'm all good here. To be 
perfectly honest, to be a hundred percent honest, do not mind the sham. It builds character. Okay, let's talk about Shaft, actually, if you don't actually don't mind. I will say this. My only, and here is my only problem with Shaft and Dragon Ball Legends. They start to in implement the pity system way too late, and they use it on the very wrong character at the wrong time. I will not care about it until it's a unit that I actually want. I get we're getting a raid coming out, which, let's be real, it's just the... But we don't see it as a fun little thing. We just see it as something that I probably may not even live stream this time. Because of how this game has been acting of late. If I do, it's by the grace of God I do it. But other than that, I don't know, bro. I believe that the PD system is kind of cool to have. It's kind of late, but kind of cool and welcomed. But just not for the character that I started. And what's this about? I think everybody knows the ongoing downward trend of legends dying. I don't need to explain that. It just comes naturally in any product life cycle. This isn't a video on how to fix legends, nor debating if it needs fixing or not. But the fact that this information exists does take a toll on Dragon Ball Legends YouTubers on how they might want to plan out their future. I'm telling you right now, I ain't doing no Dragon Ball Legends content in 2026. Yeah, I think that is all I wanted to say about my problems as of this day. Don't take this too strongly. Don't worry, I don't have depression, so I can't beat Goku yet. This video is just a compilation of all the things I don't like right now. It's not a lot. If this video also included all the things I like about life, it would be a one hour long video. So stay up, kings, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, peace. Alright, conclusion for me. This was a really good video. This was actually worth it. It, it was a... <sighs> it was a good... Let's talk about Dragon Ball Legends real quick. Because there's a lot I want to say. And there's a lot I just don't know how to script it all to put down. But I, I'm thankful for YouTubers like Yaro G to be able to make videos like this off of. So I can just, you know... Just simply pause and just simply say, this is my problem. This is my problem. This is my problem. This is what they could do. I'm not the person that's working on Legends. I'm the person that's playing the game, getting content out of it, that every now and then gets a few views out of it and does at the same time. Kind of don't care, but at the same time, do. That's how I feel about the game. But thanks, G for the video. <sighs> This is why I play other games alongside Dragon Ball Legends. That's why Dragon Ball Legends is not the only game I play. It is for stuff like this. Every game has their problems and I think I understand that and I've been understood it, but it's like certain games are just not fun in comparison. Some games have their fun moments to them and I try my best with them. But I just can't. I, I, Dragon Ball Legends has been the mainstay at the moment. But let's be real, when this game does die, it's going to be one of those, ugh, lasted three years. Which, right now, I would give it a goal. The end of the life cycle it should be aiming for is six. That's what that's what it should be aiming for. It should be aiming for a six-year anniversary to be able to last that long. For it to do that, yes, it has to make changes. But at the same time, I do believe that the changes have to be not just to for it to find its footing, but for it to know what the fans don't like because we can all talk about character selections we can talk about the new outlabs we can talk about the new zenkais the problem the overall problem with the game is overall content in general it's becoming more of a how do i put this it, a lot of the content is becoming more of a rinse repeats rinse repeats a new character is gonna drop an event's here but who cares because you're really here to get the conferences out of that event and then play for the new character or something for the new character that's pretty much all you're really here for you're not really here for just the fun of the event and that's what i'm trying to get at right now 
I still upload videos of playing events. Why? Because that's what I, that's one half of what I wanted to do. Play events, play PvP on the side. That's how I have been doing the game. PvP hasn't been the main focus on my channel ever. I play PvP, yes, am I good at PvP? At times, at times I am. I'm the casual at best when it comes to, um, as you can see, against me other against other players. But this game, it needs the work, but at the same time, it has its fun moments to it. It has little fun little memes moments that are worth the time of playing. But at the same time, the game does suffer from a lack of, well, a lot. It, this is why I play so many other things on my channel is because there's not that much to do outside of player versus player. This is why so many people are able to go to top rank because they have so much time to play player versus player. Why I kind of don't want that. I kind of would be bombarded with events for the fun of it and just be like, all right, kind of get started with playing events. Not really... Okay, new characters here. Better go test them out in PvP because that's the only way to really test them out. Test them out in events. Why? Because that's my bread and butter. That's pretty much my channel. Let's be real. It is summoning in events and talking about games and other things. That's pretty much my channel in a nutshell. Xavier shows off his characters. Xavier summons for the characters. Xavier also plays other games and does the same. Rinse, repeat. He talks about fun moments. He talks about unfun moments. He talks about things that may be popular, things that may not be popular. That's pretty much my channel in a nutshell. So, thank you, Yarji, for this video. And I guess the burnout just continues on. I'm starting to get back into co-op and why. Um, I, uh, let, let me talk about co-op, actually. My problem when it comes to co-op, because he didn't say anything about it, but I'll say it. Co-op is actually really fun if you can get everything going right for you. Not just connection, but also this little thing called <clears throat> if you have the character for it. If you don't have the bonus character for it, then you might as well just give up now. <sighs> I think that the game has its fun moments it has its boring moments it has its overall it could be the best gotcha game of all times and other moments it can be the worst one that ever existed i don't know i feel strange about the game because i have a love for dragon ball and this is probably why i play this game so much but at the same time i do have my moments of just not wanting to get on like right now i'm probably gonna play the three co-op missions i need to play and then throw my phone to the side and probably play grand summoners and struggle with those other two accounts that i have at the moment trying to grow them up so i can make more content and have just a little more conversation pieces when it comes to this i'm already uploading basically two videos back to back let's upload how sao how I felt about SAO, MD, and now I'm talking about Dragon Ball Legends. At first I thought this was him saying goodbye to Legends, which thank God he's not. He's just, you know, tired of the game and understandably why. The game, the game needs work. It does. I keep saying it, but it does. I'm going to repeat myself when it comes to this, and I apologize if someone couldn't make it this far because the video was way too long. I am so sorry. <sighs> it's so much you need help with, like, minor things are understandable, but some of this is just not right. LFs is the, oh my gosh, monthly LFs. I knew something was wrong, but no, I thought it was all okay. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it has been three months. Nope, it's been a month. Why is this LF here in my screen? He's coming next month. I have to get ready next month for this character to drop and I'm not even ready. Uh, you, how many colors? One, 1,500. Oh, wow. You have enough to summon? Yeah, to do the Durham 500 off, then do the 1,000, and then that's it. 
<laughs> Please, legends, stick. Not stick, but just give me a nice big old fat break. Free to play to pay to play. I'm not saying that they have to suffer the same, but at least let them be on two different tiers, two different aspects of the game. Let the pay to play have their fun of summoning, getting the characters because they have enough money to continuously summon while someone like me who can barely even get to a thousand now because of the changes to the game barely summons because he knows not every character can be grabbed upon so now i can't dragon ball lit i can't i'm not dragon ball i can't pokemon it and just catch them all i can only catch a certain amount of time for a certain amount of time and uh, this is why i missed the three month thing which you know when the game first came we had three months to get ready for an LF when when it felt like they came out of nowhere it felt like nine or almost a year and then we got an LF yeah I prefer that a longer span to be able to let other teams have you know other characters uh, timing is everything legends and I keep saying it this was your problem timing the timing was abysmal and it still is please from me a little YouTuber to you. From anyone who watches Dragon Ball Legends, anyone who plays Dragon Ball Legends, and especially the people who create it, obviously. Please, I need a difference. Uh, in particular, this is coming from me, but you heard it from also a really popular player. Please, just add something or or just take away timing just just t just time it a little bit better i get it you have a bunch of lfs that's probably in the back right now that's probably fully stocked and ready and just like when, which one are we going to release next it's like please go with the three month thing so we can enjoy each lf please pvp let it be that let us get more events throughout the throughout each month instead of every few months we had an LF because oh my goodness yes I know I stopped playing co-op as much as I used to and I regret it because I forgot what co-op used to give me but now I'm looking at co-op and I'm like oh my gosh what have I missed and then everything is like you missed everything bro you missed everything you forgot that we have tickets like yes I forgot you had tickets now how are you supposed to get 700 I can get 700 pretty easily I mean, it's not really that difficult but do I really want to continue to try to get that 700? No, actually, I'm okay with that. I just prefer better connection when I play PvP and things of the sort. I know there's certain things you can't fix. Like, you can't really fix the connection issue. You can only make people with two bad connections fight each other. And that's pretty much it. Which is funny, but yeah. He said shafted. Uh... We would agree and disagree. I like the pity system, but I don't like that it's here now. It should have been here for anniversary because that's when it was most needed. Who I'm not sure who's really out here grinding up to a thousand and go after Frieza. I mean, if you have a stacked Frieza team and you're just thinking this Frieza is really necessary for your team, then yeah. Or if you just want to start a Frieza team, I mean, go ahead. But we have minions that can hold their own. Repeat minions who can hold their own. We have Frieza's and coolers. Well, not really a chill, not really a Lord chill, but characters that can hold their own. And you're telling me right now the top character is supposed to be an LF character that I can't even remember what his LF even was from. I mean, I know it's from, but I just don't care for it. I'm gonna go some. Uh, whenever I get to thousand, I'm probably just gonna waste it on that little LF banner that's currently out, and try to get um the LF Super Saiyan Four, uh, Goku. Yes, I know I said how bad he was, but at the same time, I do still want him for one reason. He's a GT character. All right, that's it. Bye.